I just wanted your input on the memorial service. I mean, it doesn't have to be big or anything. I don't want to go there right now. I understand that. And it's the last thing I, I want to discuss. We'll have a memorial service anytime. It doesn't have to be now. Okay, but there's still things that we, we need to figure out. Like, are we going to scatter his ashes? Assuming you haven't done so, I, I'm not sure. If it is ranch, then stop. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. Today's show was pretty epic and at the end we did get a glimpse of Finn that he is still alive. We're going to break down that scene later in the review, but I want to talk about how we got there and how this is a little bit confusing to me. Um, and yes, the cover photo was authentic. That is true. Finn is alive. This episode was really good, but I almost wish that I hadn't seen the spoiler because it would have been so much more of a shocker if I wasn't looking for it, but it was still good anyway. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Let's get into it. I can't have this conversation. I refuse to think of Finn being gone from this world. And I understand that completely, but as his wife, I still want to honor his life. I will take care of everything when it comes to my son. So at this point, I'm just as confused as Taylor and Steffi because her wording is very vague. So I'm like, okay, is he alive or is she just not coping with it and not accepting it? Because she said she refused to believe that he was no longer on this earth. But then when they talked about having the ceremony, she said, I'll take care of the arrangements. So it was very confusing at this point. It's a cold, cruel world. Maybe you're better off where you are. But as long as there's still a chance, I won't give up. So they were still going back and forth. So she says, maybe you're better off where you are, making people think that he had passed. But then she says, if there's a chance, I'll do it. So I was going all over the place. I was thinking back to old storylines like God and Light back in the day when they did a clone. I was like, she's going to try to clone him. But when she picked up that towel, I knew. Yes, Finn is alive and being nursed back to health by his mother, Lee. This has to be one of the most speculated on storylines over the past few months that I've seen in a while. And shout out to all my Sin fans in the comments who were diehard from the beginning saying, nope, 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 he is not dead. Lee is nursing him back to health. And even when I was like, I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Your fervor for it brought me to your side thinking, well, maybe it is possible. So yes, you're right. And say what you want about the writers, but I do think this storyline is bringing new life back to the show. The whole execution from the New Year's Eve start to the storyline to now, this is bringing new life back to the show. But what I can't understand is why is Lee not telling Steffi? Sheila's in jail. She's nursing him back to health. Why not tell his wife that he's still hanging in there? And with that, why be so secretive about trying to keep him alive? Why move him from the hospital to this little hotel or wherever they are to nurse him? I don't understand. I guess they'll reveal all of that later in the week. But the secretiveness of it is very confusing unless she was worried that he was still in danger. That's the only thing that I can think of. But this was a great reveal today. You know, we also have Jackie's maternity leave coming out. Tanner's wife is pregnant. He has paternity leave coming up. He was actually on the talk today. Um, I may upload his clips from that later on as well. But he mentioned that he did know that he, his character was coming back, um, but he couldn't say anything, obviously. He said his mom is one of the biggest B&B &B fans, and she was furious and basically cursing at the uh, producers and just mad. But he couldn't even tell her that his character was coming back. I mean, yeah, she isn't alone. 
She is Taylor at the house, Ridge and Thomas are just a phone call away. Now I'm only saying this because she does have a really good support system in place. Yeah, no, she has a great support system. It's not that at all. We just didn't get to deep. No. I get it. Are you something? Mm -hmm. I'm not taking this for granted. I'm not so sure about that, Liam. Because it kind of seems like you are. He goes on to say that he gets that he can still hold her and touch her, but Steffi can't do that with Finn anymore. And that's another reason why I'm glad that Finn is still alive, because Liam is just too eager and too ready to play husband to both. He loves the sister-wife situation. And he it seems like he's like, yes, we're back in business. So I can't wait for the Finn reveal to everyone that he's still alive. Yeah, me too. Anything you need, I'll show up, day or night, doesn't matter. Thank you, because I'm going to need that. I can't stand this lady. He's, he's gone. Finn's gone, he's never, he's never coming back. So Liam tells Steffi that he'll be there for her anytime, day or night. Meanwhile, Hope and Bill are talking and he tells her that she should just think of it as just loaning her husband out for a while. So like I said, I'll be glad when Finn is back on scene because uh, Liam loves playing this role, running between two women. It's so obvious. But that was the main scenes for today, guys. The big shocker. Yes, Finn is alive. I guess that will unravel a little bit more this week. I heard that they're doing a location shoot. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, on their IG live, she and uh, Kimberlyn and Krista, they let it slip that Sheila is still filming. So she's not out of the picture yet. There's still scenes to come. They said that, they, that right now they're filming about two or three weeks ahead. So we still have some stuff in the can coming up. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. You know what? Um, you just have to, to think of it as Liam will be on, on loan for a bit. Steffi is, is reeling, understandably. But she is tough. She's strong. She knows those kids need her. So I have no doubt that she will come back better than ever. And in the meantime, she just needs uh, some extra support.